looking to the public for help as we approach the third year since the shooting death of 22 year old Corey Harold Jr. And you say David Bowman spoke with Moline police and the family today and David, you say the family is really hoping to get some closure and some answers right now. Jim, that's right. Corey Harold Jr. body was found in his van here at Moline City Hall. But across the street at Moline Police Department, some of the officers say that they recall hearing the shots ring out that day as it was all happening. And now they're asking everyone to think hard if they know anything so they can bring justice to a still grieving family. But it's a nightmare for his family. Saturday marks three years since 22 year old Corey Harold Jr. was killed in broad daylight in downtown Moline. He was driving on River Drive in Moline when people in a black SUV wearing masks began shooting at him. Police say the shooting continued on to 19th Street and again right behind Moline City Hall. Gun violence has become normal in our society in today's day. It's just not acceptable. On Wednesday, Moline Police Chief Darren Galt was joined with Harold's family as they continue their fight for justice. But the Moline Police Department needs more pieces of the puzzle to bridge this gap that we have in the Harold homicide. Through the three year long investigation, Moline Police have named three people of interest. 23 year old Alonzo R. Cole, formerly of Rock Island. 21 year old Thomas E. Elijah Hughes, formerly of East Moline and 25 year old Preston R. Orr of Rock Island. This was not a random shooting. We believe Corey was targeted by the shooters. Moline police arrested Alonzo Cole and Thomas E. Elijah Hughes in May of 2020 on unrelated weapons and drug charges. They remain in federal custody. He was a go-getter. Corey's cousin, Reverend Tyson Brooks III, recalls the man Corey was. Corey was a vibrant, uh, energetic, and I said he was striving to be an entrepreneur. Looking for help from anyone in the community to bring justice for their family. And I'm hoping that people will come forward and understand that this is wrong. Murder is wrong. To kill someone, to have total and blatant disregard for life, but where it happened at, just authority. Now it is important to underscore that Moline Police Chief Darren Galt also says that the people of interest know significant information regarding this uh, Corey Harold Jr.'s death. But Jim, it's also important to point out that no charges have been filed in this case. In Moline, David Bowman, WQAD News 8. Well, and David, as you said, it, it, there's a gap. They're looking for just some way to connect the dots, it appears. Is that the way it sounded at that news conference? Absolutely, that is exactly what they're looking for right now. And so they're hoping that anybody that has any information is going to be able to help them connect those dots. All right, David reporting live in Moline. By the way, Moline police say there is still a reward for information in the Harold murder. A $10,000 cash reward has been established with the Quad Cities Crime Stoppers for information that leads to an arrest. You can call Crime Stoppers of the Quad Cities. There's the number 309-762-9500. Cloudy, breezy day.